Now, there's high security for the White House and other icons of Washington, D.C., but the city is one of the most violent in the U.S. It's become so bad that politicians have introduced a bill that pays residents to behave themselves. The District of Columbia is offering over $12,000 to people who the city considers at risk of committing a violent crime. So, could it potentially work in Australia? That is today's Daily Dilemma. Well, joining us is Rowan Smith from news.com.au. Rowan, OK. <laughs> now, on the face of it, it sounds like this is a bit of a bonkers plan. It, what's, it, what's the deal? Yeah, it does, but it's been tried before with great success, actually. So, in a place called Richmond, not far from San Francisco, they tried this five years ago. Um, basically, it goes that in order to prevent crime, uh, you pay people to behave, uh, which doesn't sound quite right. Mm. Um, they go through behavioural therapy, and then if after 12 months they haven't committed a crime, they're paid the equivalent of about 13,000 Australian dollars. Uh, I so think it's great. I think it's yeah, great. I think it has merit. I think yeah. this are idea these, has merit. Are these younger people that are, are, could lead to crime? They're, re they're identified as repeat offenders mm. or people ah, who could offend. Right. And so Washington DC is trying it because the murder rate is, uh, I think it's 54% up on the year before. Uh, people obviously mm. think, you know, it's a bit controversial mm. because some people say that why should we pay? Well, isn't uh, it rewarding bad behaviour? Yeah, rewarding bad behaviour or something that everybody else does. Stopping the behaviour, though. Stopping the behaviour. It's an incentive. And um, we, we bribe so. kids. We bribe we kids to behave. I agree. We give them stamps. We say, Pocket here's a reward if you do the right thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, here's a present I mean, if you do the right thing. I mean, I haven't I haven't killed anyone for almost 40 years. Where's my money? No, like, like there, there, there is, is there is a sort of no, no, I understand, and I think you know. People. To be honest, sometimes if something just works, then you have to sort of throw the yeah. the, the principle out the window, if mm -hmm. you like, and say, well, it works in practice, even though it's clearly morally mm -hmm. quite reprehensible to to reward someone just for not being a violent thug. And we are talking uh, about murder. Yeah, yeah, we're so talking. So, what do you, you put a price yeah. on it? We're talking about crimes that don't happen, I guess. It's a bit like Minority Report. We're talking about pre crime here. And it's mm. strange that they. And it doesn't involve people who are actually up for criminal charges, does it? It just involves people who mm. are we're anonymously pending. identified mm. yes. as At likely least. to commit but, a crime. Well, just very quickly, do you think that something like that could work over here? Uh, not sure. I uh, couldn't yeah, say. I mean, it's been, it's it been proven. The reason that it worked um, mm. in Richmond is because they targeted. Uh, they knew that sort of 17, 17, 17 people were very specific. Yeah. So it was very specific. Right. Rowan, thank you very much indeed. Good to see you.